You both have won that race already, Puget? I won. Greg yeah, won last year. Second last I was second. She's going to win it this year. There we go. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we can go back that. next year. Race that race since it, Is it hard? You're in such an exotic location. It's the uh, end of the year. It's yeah. nice. It's, it's, it's pretty. Celebration. It's pretty low key. I think everybody. You kind of get through those last months of training, like October, and kind of going, okay, if we can just get to December, and it's worth it if you have a good race there. So your fitness carries on. Yeah, really. you can be taking a bit of a break leading into it, but after having injuries that put us out for <coughs> three or four months of nothing, you get to you realize that you really can take a month almost off training, and you really don't lose much fitness at all. Especially when yeah. you've been going. I've been training for twenty years. Yeah. The body just goes, oh yeah, that's what I meant to do, you know. And yeah. so you do a race like Phuket at the end of the year. You've kind of on semi break, you know. It's a very relaxed environment, all good mates. You have a good time. You have a hit out, you know, and you're done. And it's it really is a fantastic way to finish the year. Greg, talk about your your injury mm -hmm. right now, or mm -hmm. or a few a few months ago, and how you've been kind of recuperating from it. Yeah, it, it it's been a frustrating year with the injury. It really has, and. You know, I, I injured the foot on the first week of January and, and had 14 weeks off running. Had about nine weeks off the bike. And even swimming, I had to be careful because of the flip turns. I really tore the plantar fascia pretty well. We're now to the point where I'm back training the swim and bike pretty pretty well, 100%. And the run, I'm basically Laura's run partner for her easy days and getting the miles up. And, you know, I'm up to 30 or 40 miles a week at the moment. But until I get it up to 60, 70 miles a week and 80% of that is fast running, I'm not really a runner in my mind. So for me, it's still a big prog progression until I'm at my, my best running shape, but it's happening. You know, the foot is getting better. I am seeing the best experts there are around and, you know, it's, it's a test. And during this test, I've been able to do a lot of research and really gain a lot of knowledge about coaching and, and I'm really enjoying coaching Laura now. And, you know, she started this year and she's held the world number one and, you know, so I feel kind of, I'm kind of sitting there, oh, yeah. I know it's not really that much me, but it kind of helps me <coughs> feel a little bit better about what I'm doing, you know, yeah. I'm not just sitting on my ass, I'm, you know, I'm at least helping Laura the best I can. <laughs> so you guys, you guys have been in the sport for, believe it or not, a while now. Mm -hmm. um, looking back, what are some of the highlights that, that you've experienced so far and, and, and what, what, do you, what do you look forward to still? Well, um, I'd love to see at yeah. least one of us take a major championship. We've both been yeah. so close. You know, yeah. I've held that world number one forever. And we're, you know, Laura's had the world number one. She's been on the podium three years in a row at world champs. And I think there's big things to come. And I look at the championships in our sports as being lifetime fitness, a world champs, or an Olympic Games. So one of those, three, yeah. one of us <laughs> are going to take. And, um, and it, I'll feel satisfied with our career if one of us gets that you know, the amount of energy we put into each other that I think the other one can take something from that. Yeah, um, definitely. So that's a goal. Other than that, I, I feel like we've lived up to every expectation I, made, you know, I ever had mm. in my life. So, yeah. How hard is it going to be to get that $400,000 $400, bonus for the, for the new series that they brought out? Yeah, so that'll be nice. Everyone. Oh, yeah, the one in yeah. for New York. and yeah, New York, uh, yeah. all the way through, culminating with Minneapolis. Working on that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder. They claim a girl, probably, but because lifetime is such a big factor of it, and I guess it depends on how the lifetime. It all depends on who wins lifetime. This year, you know, yeah. And the, and yeah, the, that's and true. And the, the, the mathematician picks the stopwatch time. Yeah. I mean, really, there are potentially what you see with the women's racing. One woman comes along and dominates for 18 months, and then they go. You know, one comes along and dominates, and if that woman happens to just come in that 18 month block. They can, they possibly win. The men, hey, you know, Rollers. you look at all of us, and that's why we can all train together because none of us have <coughs> goes Because you know what, I've beaten Hamish, I've beaten Bevan, I've beaten Hunter. They've all beaten me just as many times. And see, you get used to it as a man that you got to when you're on shape and you're peaking, you'll get that one. That doesn't mean you're going to get the next one, the next one, the next one. You just take what you can get. Because women have a tendency to be able to win more and more. In a yeah. Row.